Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well out there today. Um, if this year has been anything to you like it has been to me, uh, there's a chance that you may have accidentally put on a few extra pounds and would like to do something to correct that. Uh, there are lots of op options out there as far as uh, ways you can document all that stuff online. But of course, our whole goal here on this channel is to self-host as much as we possibly can. So recently I found this application. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's it is spelled W-G-E-R. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, at their website here. Uh, here it says, welcome to uh, whatever this is called, your body, your workouts, your data, your progress. Um, so if you scroll down, uh, you can uh, track your workouts, your nutrition. There's actually a diary built into it. Uh, so you can leave notes for yourself as far as maybe what happened that day, how you were feeling, those sorts of things. All of that's available in there as well. Uh, there's a weight tracker, a calendar, exercise database. I actually dig this because you can select uh, what uh, muscle group you'd like to target and it'll actually give you workouts to check out. Um, and of course, gym management, uh, it's built on a REST API. And like it says here, it's free and open source. So if we come over here to uh, their Docker, uh, hub.docker.com page, you can see this was updated two days ago. So that's really good to see uh, that it's getting active updates. Uh, in fact, if we even come over here to, uh, to their GitHub page, uh, you can see that some of this, uh, they've been at it for a few years now, uh, but of course a lot of this was updated two days ago. Uh, so if we come over, uh, back over to their hub.docker.com page. Uh, here we can see uh, right there is the command that we can use to run that. Of course, we don't necessarily like to run these commands in SSH if we don't have to. So uh, what I did was actually came over here uh, and created a stack out of it, which you can see right here. Of course, this will be available in the uh, blog or the blog post link in the description down below. It's Monday, man, I'm, I'm still drinking coffee. Kept me a break here. Uh, so anyway, if you come over to the editor here, uh, we can see this is a really, really simple uh, container to deploy here. Uh, version two services is the WGER. The image we're gonna use is their Apache version, container name, ports. Originally this was on port 8,000, but with Portainer that won't work because Portainer wants to run on ports 8,000 and 9,000. Uh, so I changed it to 8080. Uh, you can of course change that to whatever you need to change it to because I know port 8080 is a very common port to use. So uh, once you've got all of that set up, uh, all you've got to do is come down here, click the little blue button. Uh, we'll give that a second. Uh, I actually cleaned some stuff out because I want to have a chance to look at the logs here. So uh, we'll give this a second. And then uh, once it comes back to the main screen, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the logs. All right, so here we are a couple of minutes later. Uh, that did take a while because uh, it's like an 800 meg download. So we'll take a little while to do that. Let's take a look at the logs here. Uh, so we're going to go through all of this. It's actually in the process of still deploying some things. Uh, in fact, if I come back over here and just try to open this, uh, it probably won't do anything yet. Yeah, so it's still deploying. Uh, so we'll go back over here to the logs. Uh, once we get to this point, uh, it should be good to go. So if I come back over here and refresh, give this a second here. There we go. So now your uh, screen, uh, once you've got that deployed, should look just like their screen. Uh, so if we come back over here and we scroll up, uh, you can click login and uh, then we can uh, say admin and admin for both of those. Of course, you'll want to change that once you get logged in. Uh, so we click log in here and uh, we're going to close that. Uh, so in here, uh, you can see workouts under training. Uh, you can add a workout if you want to do that. Add a training day. You can say, well, what days do I want to do this? Uh, we'll say uh, shoulders. I suppose we'll say save and we'll say add an exercise and then you can uh, just start typing and then all of these will automatically come in. Uh, you can say shoulder press with dumbbells um, and then you can specify the number of repetitions, uh, the, the amount of weight on each, uh, on, on each of those and you can name it whatever you'd like to name it there uh, and then click save. So we'll say uh, shoulders, oops, shoulder, oops, sorry. So our, We'll do that to do, and we'll say uh, 10 repetitions, uh, 20 kilograms. Sure, why not? Um, and then we'll say uh, we'll say uh, 15 uh, with, with 20, and then we'll say 10, 20, and then we'll say five with 20, and then we'll click save. So here you can see uh, the sh the exercise we did now, or that we did here. 
Um, and then over here, you can actually see uh, which shoulder or which, which muscles uh, are being activated by what's highlighted in red here. So if we add another exercise to the day, uh, we can say legs, oops, leg, leg raises lying. Uh, and we'll say uh, 20 uh, with five. And we'll just fill these in. Oops, well, with five, oops, like so. And then 20 with five. And we'll say save. And then uh, here again, you can see additional areas uh, from leg raises that are activated. When you look at the lats, the abs, that sort of thing. Uh, it's really cool the way it highlights those different muscle groups. I really, really dig that. Uh, so that's, of course, one thing here. We can take a look at the calendar. Um, and nothing showing, oh, new, new log. Uh, so we'll add that, say close, maybe. Uh, and of course, we'll want uh, today's date in there. Uh, general impression. Uh, your impressions about the workout. Did you work out as well as you could? We'll say, yeah, that's pretty good. I uh, had a great workout today. And then I guess you could fill it out this way versus the other way. And it looks like some of that is in German. That's interesting. So anyway, that's a couple of different ways that you can enter um, your workouts. Of course, you can look up exercises by category, muscle and equipment. You can add additional exercises, that sort of thing. Body weight, uh, you can actually uh, keep track of your body weight here. Um, and you can, you know, add. Uh, so for today, uh, I'm gonna lie and just say 220. I'm sure I'm more than that. Um, and then like if we wanted to, we could actually go back uh, let's say we wanted to change this to 2019 and let's say I was 250. I know that's not correct either. Um, but here you can actually see that it's mapping that out based on the dates. Um, so that's pretty cool. The way you can monitor your, your weight that way. Nutrition, uh, there are nutrition plans in here. Uh, if you wanted to do that, you could uh, add, a, add a meal for the plan, that sort of thing. Uh, BMI calculator, uh, of course, it's gonna want your height in centimeters. You can actually come in here and uh, change the, uh, the weight units um, uh, over here for body weight. Uh, you can edit this, oops. So there, there's different things in here that you can edit. Um, let's see, repetition units, uh, you can edit those as well. Uh, user list, there's just me in here. Uh, so there's a lot of different stuff in here that you can do uh, to be really good about monitoring and inputting all of your data to keep track of it on your own without having to use, uh, you know, any of the different fitness apps that are probably tracking more information than you need to on your phone or whatever the case may be. So, uh, of course, if we want to make this available to the Internet, uh, we will actually have to go in and set up our domain name. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that now. Okay, so once we're logged into wherever we're gonna manage our domains from, uh, we'll wanna add a new record. Uh, I'm gonna create a CNAME record here. I'm gonna call this just fit. I'm gonna do at, so it'll be fit.dvtech.xyz. I'm gonna make sure that's not proxied because I'm using Cloudflare. And in order to assign the SSL to it, uh, I can't have it proxied, so we'll click save. And so now we'll come over to here, oops. And we'll say, uh, go to port 82. Now I'm gonna add a proxy host, uh, Nginx Proxy Manager. And of course, if you don't have Nginx Proxy Manager set up, uh, I will have a link in the description where you can uh, find out how to do that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is actually add a proxy host. Of course, we're gonna call this fit.dbtech.xyz, like so. And then I need to figure out what the IP address of my other server is. So we're gonna go ahead and come over here to our command prompt. We're gonna say uh, ping, uh, tanx.local, and it's uh, it's right there. So I'm gonna grab that, come over to here and uh, paste that, oops, that's 2.168.68.96. And then we put that on port 8080. We're gonna block uh, common exploits. We'll go to SSL. We're gonna request a new SSL. And then we'll go ahead and click save. We'll give this just a moment to go ahead and deploy. Uh, we'll make a couple more changes and then we should be able to access this on the internet via our, our URL. All right, so here is uh, what we're looking for here. So what we're gonna do is come into here and click edit. We'll go into SSL and uh, we'll reinforce those. Click save, come back over to here. We're gonna change this to be proxied and click save. And then we can come back over and click that. Here we are at fit.dbtech.xyz. Uh, we can log in as admin, oops admin and here we are logged in uh, with uh, the information we had entered 
earlier. And of course, you will want to probably come in here and set up uh, as much of this as you possibly can for uh, to have the ability to uh, let other people register if you want to, that sort of thing. Uh, so definitely dig through those settings and make sure you've got everything set up the way you'd like it to be set up for your instance. So I think that pretty much covers everything we wanted to cover here. Uh, one thing I did, I did also want to mention is that if you heard any uh, cat crying in this video, it's because of this guy right here. Uh, he, he thinks he's being tortured by not having anybody to play with at the moment. So uh, I apologize, but it's his fault, not mine. Also, as mentioned, all of this will be available in the uh, description down below, uh, probably via a blog post. Uh, while you're down there, there are a couple of other links you might wanna check out for different ways you can support the channel. Uh, one is coffee, that's a one-time tip jar. There's also Patreon, uh, where I've got four different levels at which you can subscribe. The three, five, and $10 levels will give you access to my content early when it's available. Also, the five and $10 levels will also give you access to a patrons only Discord server, so we can hang out and chat about whatever you'd like to chat about there. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.